Hello, my name is Echo Ampa, and today I will be showing you a brief overview of how we revolutionize dump trucking with automation and data. Um, so I'll give a rundown as to what the solution is um, and how we implemented it in certain details. I will go ahead and create other YouTube videos too, giving a demo. But at the end of this video, I will show or guide you to where you can schedule your own live demo. So let's get started. So revolutionizing dump truck and automation and data from tickets to insights to basically the whole thing end to end dump trucking. So the first thing is to get started and actually understanding what the problem is. Um, so as we all know, the problem in dump trucking is a lot of the ticket entries are, you know, manual and, you know, that allows for slow and error prone sort of mistakes. Just because everything is always fast moving and things are always changing, problems like that arise um, for brokers, actually onboarding sub haulers and managing documents. That process sometimes also takes too long um, in terms of going back and forth with them, you know, getting their COI, getting their W9, getting their direct deposit information, all those things um, are tough. So those are the things we're looking at in automating. Um, another thing too is in dispatching, um, you know, juggling different jobs, different trucks, to actually get dispatch, different rate structures, you know, the per ton, per hourly, um, the per hourly structure, uh, this solution kind of allows the system to worry about that and you just worry about actually dispatching the trucks. And we'll go over all these in details, but this is just a quick overview. And based off all these issues, this it's obviously hard on owners to keep track of profitability and actually what is going on within the business and what is the bottleneck, what is causing all the slowdown. So we, our whole goal was to automate majority of these things. So going over the solution overview, um, one of the things that we wanted to do was automate the ticket um, process. So that would be um actually gathering the tickets the data being entered and i'll talk a little bit about how the system handles that and you know calculating the rates um another thing was sub hauler uh, onboarding so that includes sub haulers going ahead and filling out all their key informations attaching their w9 attaching the coi attaching their direct deposit and Basically, after they're done, it just automatically transfers into the system. So um, the admin doesn't have to worry about all those stuff. You just, you know, put the power in the sub hauler's hand. Um, the next is job and rate management. So with the design of the job and rate management system, uh, you could track each individual job and rates to a particular client. And based off of the job and rates, the ticket calculation, the system automatically handles that. So nobody is, you know, has all their rates in their head or you're writing it down on poster notes. And the reason why this is important and we'll get to it is this allows um, businesses to scale. And at the end is invoicing and payout. So with what we've done with the solutions, we allow invoicing, which we'll talk about and payouts where you know a pdf is actually generated based off of each individual ticket and you can track you know your invoicing and you can also track your payouts and because all this data is stored in the system we're able to actually get live dashboards as to you know what is actually happening each step of the process that's going on So we could talk about ticket capturing moments. So when the drivers actually go to a job, whether it's hourly or it's per ton, 
you know, they're given a ticket or they fill it out at the end of their shift. And we wanted to design something that was easy on the drivers and also easy on the admin. So what we do is when the drivers are done, they take a picture of the ticket. Um, and then what happens is the system receives, you know, they receive the text message and what it does, it sends like, you know, a verification that like, you know, the, the picture has been received and what happens in the background is, you know, OCR scans the data and then it auto matches, it auto matches jobs and contracts. So what it does is, you know, it relates the ticket to, you know, the actual jobs that are in your system and the contracts that are in your system and even the dispatch that's in your system. So you can track everything way better. Um, why this is so important is because, you know, it gives you a hybrid option. You could always fall back to doing things manually, but we're doing it this way. The benefits are it's faster, fewer errors, and less admin time. Because if you have a large fleet and they're all capturing tickets, just you you already know the amount of tickets that are going through the system. So yeah. So with this, you know, it's faster less errors, less admin time, and then admin can just worry about, you know, reviewing what actually came through. Uh, sub hauler onboarding. So it's a digital workflow, um, which is a form and an agreement, and I can actually go over it and show you like a template that you can use. You don't really have to use this, but you know, it's an, it's an agreement and, you know, capturing the documents that you want and it stores it in the system and then it's up to you know the admin or the dispatcher to actually approve it and then it saves hours there's no more tracking emails or no more going back and forth with people that sort of a thing you just give them the form they fill it out in electronic form with the data or the documents that you want, they upload it and it stores it in the system. It enters it all their information in the system automatically. And what they do is they just review. So think about the hours that are saved. And this is also good because it, it keeps compliance tight. So you have all the data of everything that you need. Uh, job and rates management. So the job and rates management tracks um, each client's hourly rate. So you know how clients have them dynamic rate structures. So it could be fixed, but the system allows for a lot of flexibility and dynamicness. So you could, if you had a client, and I'm using this as an example because we have somebody that we work with that has that they have multiple clients and each client's pay structure is different but let's say you had a client that their pay structure it depends based on the axle so in the system you would just store the hourly you know the hourly rate or even if they have night shift differential you could also store that too and just with you storing at one time because it's in the system once the tickets already come in and they're you know how we said ocr captures the data the system just automatically does the calculation nobody needs to remember what this client paid or that client paid it's all based off of the truck information and the rate of the contract so everything is tracked um so either the job if it's a per ton job they you just store the hourly rate once and every ticket that comes in that gets assigned to that job, you know, just automatically gets those calculations and rates and it just all gets stored. So this is good because um, it supports uh, subcontracting and seasonal rate changes. Um, so you only need to change the rate in one place and it changes in one place, it affects the whole thing. And you really don't need to, you know, micromanage it. and as an option, you know, the dispatch, the dispatcher can 
assign jobs to drivers and you don't really need to expose the rates if you don't want to, but you can. I will show you an, exa an example where the rates are actually exposed to the driver, but you know, just a couple of things to think about as the functionality that you can't have. It's totally all up to you. So invoice and sub hauler payout. So the system allows you to generate invoice and receipts of approved tickets. So the tickets that come in when they get approved and you can see what sub what sub haulers needs to get paid or what tickets need to get invoiced. And what you can actually do is you can individually select the tickets you would like to invoice and it will group all of them together and it will create an invoice. And when it creates the invoice, it uses all your company information in the system. It uses the client's information in the system, which consists of their address and key information. And it auto generates a ticket. I'll show you an example of a ticket, but it is a template. Keep that in mind. You can have your you can have your invoice look any way you want to. If you want to include your logo or anything, I just for the demo that I'll be showing in later videos is just a broad, you know, just a general um, invoice. It, it gets the job done. Um, so. Based off of that, you have transparent records on each actual individual tickets um, and their relation to an invoice. And also that also applies to sub hauler pay. Um, if you're a broker taking a specific percentage, um, we would have it in the system and that percentage just automatically gets skimmed off the top. Um, so the real time KPIs that you will be getting are you know total tickets and tonnages um you can see broker margins on you know what you actually make versus you know what gets paid out uh truck level revenue that's a lot of things that most of the time people don't get to see where you can break down your revenue by an individual truck and also the profitability per truck and per job. So you can see whether what job is actually worth running and what job is not worth running, what truck is, you know, not as profitable. And this is real time. So you can see it on a random Tuesday. There's no reports that need to get generated. We would obviously work with you to get your you know, get the reports that you would consistently like to see. And then based off of that, you can always see it and you get to manage who has access to be able to see those views and things. Um, so what is the business impact? This is what the what's what's the whole point of all this? So with this solution, what it does is it cuts down admin time by about 70 percent. So that saves a lot of money. And it eliminates missed invoices and tickets so tickets just don't disappear within the weeds uh so with this uh with this and the transparency it improves cash flow because you could see exactly where the money is coming you could see what the funnel is you can see where the problems lie or you know who submits tickets late or you know all those information and with this it allows companies to scale way easier so you can go easy, easier from, you know, one truck to 100 trucks or 100 to 200. The system still remains the same. Everything is still as efficient. And with this, you don't need to track things and, you know, Excel files or constant communication and calling and, you know, texting. This is just to save the business as much time as possible, which, you know, impacts revenue. Um, so that's it. Um, you can turn your dump trucking business into a data driven operation. Um, so what you can do is what I will actually do is I'll leave a link in the description for you to be able to book an actual demonstration with me or we can talk implementation or we can talk, you know, getting signed up and things like that. Or if you would like, you can email me at echo Ampa at Turbofin Solutions, and I will get back to you. Uh, so this is going to be the first video of this series. Um, 
the rest of the series, I'm actually going to be doing demonstrations of different components of the solution so you could see it working live. Uh, so yeah, that's all that I have for you today. Thank you.